bench down when you do it. Where are you We're going? going to our first fertility Are you on time? Shut up. Just get in the car. We really got to hurry. Y'all will find this out about my wife. She's always late. It's always her fault. Is it always worth the wait or not? Hold. You're not. <laughs> prank, so prank number one. <laughs> so I, no I didn't even know I had them either. I was about to be that so shit ain't no mad at her. So we be sitting outside with no keys and no appointment. The life of a rush nigga is the life. You feel me? Where are we going? Okay, I got to put my dick on. Eleven a.m. I'm on time still. Now, was it the appointment at eleven? We we're supposed to be there at ten forty-five. But the appointment's at eleven. So yeah, our paperwork's not filled out. I don't even have time to fill all of this out. Girl, you better think fast. I wish I would have known this last night. I would have filled it out. Last oh, you night. didn't know because we weren't on the phone together, huh? But it's always my fault. I didn't know that the packet was this big. I'm not saying it's your fault. I'm saying I, I wish did. I would have known the packet was so I'm big. I'm glad that you out from blaming. I'm not. I'm, I'm not outgrown blaming you. Cause it is your fault we're late. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you here? I'm here because I gotta get some birth control. Because it's about to be summer. I gotta get my old pants on. Why are you here? I'm here because we are gonna start our birth control for our in vitro process. Surrogate of the year, right here. You're not a surrogate, you idiot. No. Not technically. Technically, I am. Nah. Whose baby you gonna have? Some random ass member. Yours. Huh? I'm gonna have your baby. Could do Our baby, but your baby, but our baby. My baby. Okay, yeah. So what we'll do, what we need to do, both of you start birth control pills once you have your period. Start it like on day. Three. Yeah, the other things you'll need to do start looking on uh, uh, for a, for sperm. Um, yeah, don't worry about that. Take hey, is there a on. is there a contract we can make her sign over the phone? Yeah, before the sun <laughs> comes out. Because <laughs> we're we're at the gym right now, and so you know she's been working on this summer body. I don't know. <laughs> I need some kind of commitment in writing or something. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> it was, it'll kind of put you two in sync. In other words, so. Do you have Do you have we... uh, marriage counselors for that? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a crazy funny. week. <laughs> You're killing me. <laughs> Baby, that's probably they are here. Oh shit. The meds are here. Hmm. Basically, we got max medications. So we gotta start taking your prenatal. Aspirin. This is some antibiotic. So I've been taking it for however many days you count right there. Baby's been taking hers for like a month. And then um, Lipralide. We are our first blood draw. 
second blood draw. <laughs> Actually, our second blood draw. Yeah, we uh, forgot to pay. Got a little excited. <laughs> forgot Ran to pay up out. Time. Now. So that's what I'm saying. Maybe niggas should read directions. So we've got the point ten. There you go. Now let's just do this real quick, all right? I don't know if I trust you now that we saying that. I don't know if I trust you, girl. You didn't even wipe it off. Wipe what off? My spot. I'm supposed to wipe it off with? with an alcohol pad. Okay. <laughs> Why you over talking about sanitize? Should have cleaned you off with a Clorox wipe. Girl, stop. Okay, I'm reading all these directions before we do mine. I just, I don't really feel, I guess if it's because you don't go in that deep, that's why it's not muscular. You remember you have to go into a slant, right? On this one? Mm-hmm. And let it air dry. Don't you think it. a slant? If not, then you're not gonna be just subcutaneous. So you want it at an angle? I don't know. Just don't look. Okay, hold on. You want to get yourself together real quick before you show me? Why are you over here fumbling around with the what, needle? Once it gets in, how I'm gonna push it in? I don't want to okay. figure that out when it okay. gets in. You so turn. you figured it out. I got out? it. Turn. Don't you have to have it like this? Turn. Oh you want to do it yourself? Oh my god, nigga. Come oh on. Oh my god, this is nerve wracking. I know, I got you, baby. <laughs> do you? Yes. I got you. Okay, hold on. Let me just take a couple deep breaths. Okay, because I don't even know where the spot's at now. Do it again. <laughs> it's, just, it's just bad because this is like the first time, you know, and of course I gotta be the one to start it. You're letting me shoot you. No, I'm not. You'll be good. But you're going to shoot it like this? Slow and steady? Yes. Is that what he said? Yes. But you go in fast? Yes. I'm going. Okay. I got it. That actually was all right. That actually was really like... Cool? Yeah, it was cool. Okay. Right. I need a princess band-aid. To remind you of your appointment, it is tomorrow morning at 8.30. This one, we've got a mark here in South Bay on this, so you need to make sure that you make a payment before your scan. You can do that beforehand at our financial counselor's office. They're at the very front of the hospital at the admitting desk, just as, as you enter the real balding door. Don't worry right about side. me. Or you can do it by phone. Never late, girl. She's fine. Hey. She was going to call us if I could come back. And she left me here. Oh. <laughs> okay, and then there's just a bathroom right here. Okay, you can use. Both. And then um, you can either change in here or you can go across the hall to the changing room. It's totally up okay. to you. You want me to hold this? Yeah, I'll go down to you. You'll hold the chest. Whoa, look at me. Baby, why are you walking like that? So we just left the hospital for my hysterosalopenogram and that was rough, like hella rough. They had to do the speculum thing like three times, no four times, and then the first method that they tried didn't work and so then they had to insert this thing that had this balloon and that shit is like real, you know, it, you know what it took? Courage. What is that, fool? <laughs> I had that with me when I went. 
that's how I got through it. She lying. My, my so, stone the courage. We went there, and you know I got up early, so I want to support my wife. And then we mm -hmm. get there, and then they're like saying something about radiology, and then so she's a doctor, so she's like, "Girl, you can't be having your eggs in there before they get fried." And so <laughs> I don't she's even like, eat fried eggs. That's she's like, "I'm gonna go ask the doctor." When she said that, I knew I was lost <laughs> left next thing you know 30 minutes later i'm sitting in the no i did ask lobby. the doctor you didn't think i asked she didn't even come back and tell me shit i asked the doctor and the doctor said what the lady up front said that it's not safe mm. they don't the know radiology. i got golden eggs and shit going happen to my eggs but everything was good your eggs might be silver the <laughs> <laughs> But so, the uterus is good. The uterus is good. Both fallopian tubes are good, which isn't really that helpful for now, but it'll be helpful for the next baby. Um, so this baby, we are going to... So we're good to go. Take my eggs, the sperm, fertilize it, and insert it into her. And they're inserting two embryos. And our donor has twin brothers. Yeah. So, so if y'all catch us on E, it's because yeah, it's we had quadruplets. They ruined me. Um, you are not even that tough. You are about as like tough this? as me. I didn't cry like this. I came out like a G okay. when I did mine. Well, they didn't do that shit how they did mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hers was worse. Of course, hers was so much more dramatic. They only put the thing in you once. Girl, I don't get things in me. It's okay. So, we are on day three of our Lupralide or Lupron. And um, we've already taken our prenatal. I took my baby aspirin. Ashley's taking her antibiotic. I've been taking my antibiotic at night. Um, today, Ashley also starts her Lupralide. So, were you shooting yourself or did I get to give you a shot? We'll figure that out after okay. I do this. Stay tuned, y'all. Y'all don't want to say that. So, we're going to clean this area. That's a pretty big area. Yeah, I gotta out where I'm <laughs> it's a pretty big one. So, they so say are, you, are you winging that? They say that you pump this in there, you push the air out, which now you flip it upside down, and then you pull it. All right, flip it upside. Okay, now we're just gonna do this like. You sure you got point 10? A pro today. The one bad thing about the Lupralide that I've been noticing is that it's fucking up my sleep. Like, I cannot sleep at night. And so I looked it up last night and I found out that that's actually a pretty common side effect. Is hot flashes and can't sleep. So I can't sleep. And then when I do go to sleep, I wake up and I'm hot as hell. And so then I can't go back to sleep because I'm having a hot flash. So, this is fun. Okay, here we go. Sorry, I get nervous and I get sweaty. And then we have this sweaty. little biohazard thing. So oh, I like that shit, girl. Hold on, let me wipe you down. Oh, you're not supposed yeah, to. Yeah, you are. That. I read the directions. Oh. Don't you trip. Oh, I'm not supposed to do that, huh? Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, this is where I opt out. <laughs> she wishes she could opt out. So, mm -hmm. she gets her loop for life. So, go ahead and have a seat, patient. So, I'm actually in the medical field. <laughs> and because I'm actually in the medical field, I'm, I'm more suited for this. Clean hands, I'm going to pop the top off of this. Bam. Popping bottles. This is an expensive bottle, too. This shit costs more than most things anybody <laughs> ever drank. It's a $600 bottle right here. That's cute. Okay, so then I can throw that. Okay, this is my first time. So if I seem like I don't know what I'm doing, it's yeah. because I don't. You're going to say that right now? No, just like with the with you everything. You don't even know how to open the bottle. And you I do too. Oh, man. I do know how to open the bottle. I'm just saying, like, you, this is your third time giving me a shot. You're making me nervous because you're like scared of me. I'm gonna do it myself. No, you're not. This is a reality. You show. are not gonna do it yourself. There's no way. I feel like I'm gonna do it. You can do it in your leg. You Ten. It? Yes. Really? Because oh, I think we take it till it's gone. Right on. Okay. So. I feel like I gotta do it on myself. Oh my. Okay, watch it. Leg, you can go right in. I promise I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm gonna 
no, no, I'm going to push the needle in quick and now I'm going to push that in real, real slow. But you got to tell me if I'm going too slow. Mm. Woo! Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to have to do it like you, though. Just and don't so you're talk about that it anymore. What do you mean you got to do it like me? Like how you put it in. That is not fast. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What? You're not sorry. doing this shit. What the yeah. fuck are you doing? You scared me. Okay. Okay. My. That's better? Yes. My arm doesn't hurt. You, I got sweat on my lip. Me too. <laughs> shit. <laughs> this is hell day. This is hell day. So we are on day six. Something like that. So. I think we're on day six of our Lupron. And our other meds, and we don't feel good. So one of the side effects of the Lupron is the inability to sleep, and I'd mentioned that before. Well, now it's like all the way real. Let me tell you about something. So the other day I could not shit. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, but that was from the iron in her prenatal. I don't know what it was that from. That was from the iron, but in I prenatal. shit daily. And this was some other shit. I thought I was going to die. I almost went to the emergency room. She was crying. We ain't going to tell you what All the details. Happened. <laughs> but anybody who's ever constipated, I feel for you. I'm so sorry. I will pray for you. I will keep anybody constipated <laughs> in my prayers straight up. Yeah, but that was rough, huh? But that was my worst symptom so far. Next one is going to be can't sleep. I kind of got cramps. Uh, I'm just hot, hot flashes all day. Hot flash, hot flash. I'm not hungry. Yeah, no appetite. We've got the ultrasound for Ashley scheduled for Friday, so we'll go do that on Friday with the doctor. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us on our in vitro journey. This is our first video about our in vitro, and we plan to just keep y'all updated throughout this whole process. Thank you so much for tuning in to rolling with the benzes um thanks for sharing our journey with us we will make sure to keep you guys updated with regular videos on our in vitro journey like like subscribe subscribe whatever else y'all supposed to do, do that <laughs> comment share comment show us love thank it, you so actually, much some of y'all can keep y'all comments <laughs> yeah y'all like but... subscribe whatever so y'all that show love we love y'all too thank you <laughs>